only on Fox here tonight, a Houston man who invested half a million dollars in an upscale Midtown nightclub says he was misled. Fox 26 is Randy Wallace joining us live from Midtown tonight with the exclusive Randy. Yo, Anthony, common law fraud, negligence and breach of contract. Those are just some of the allegations the investor makes in his lawsuit. Investors tout PDA as a new, unique nightlife experience in Houston, an ultra lounge unlike anything we've seen before in this city. I thought this business model and this concept was something great. The downstairs concept, modern chic, upscale French decor. Upstairs concept, a whole different vibe. Think rooftop party in Tulum. The way they papered it up, it was supposed to be an oasis in the middle of Houston. It was gonna be exclusive. I mean, there was gonna, the hookah thing was gonna be like 100 bucks. Um, where you can enjoy the hookah, they were gonna have a DJ booth upstairs, some sliding um, windows. The project um, did not start on time. It did not complete on time. It opened months late. This is PDA Houston at 3030 Travis. Juan Paz invested half a million dollars. But I didn't get a complete product. I only got half of it. And as of today, I don't, I, I don't know where the money's went. Some people might say this could just be a bad investment, but if it is, my client should be able to get documents to support what happened to his investment. Juan is now suing PDA Houston, alleging PDA Houston LLC and PDA Hospitality LLC misled him and made many false promises to obtain his money. I wanted to see where the money were being spent, how much of the, you know, the, the general contractor was being paid, and wanted to see why the contractor was being delayed. Juan says his numerous requests to see documentation were ignored. As of today, there should be a two-level club operating at full capacity with a full return to the investors within a year. A lot of stuff was misleading, just, just a lot of broken promises. The reality is it's half of this at best. As far as the hospitality and nightlife, I'm, I'm done with that. Now, we spoke to a man who identified himself as part of the PDA group. We also called a law firm that's listed as a defendant in the suit. We've yet to hear anything back. Reporting live from Midtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. Half a million dollars. That is quite the investment, Randy. Thanks.